Hello, Phil. This is Ryder here with the review of the Kamen Rider Kabuto Cast Off Rider Series 05 Kamen Rider Gattack. <laughs> so, for the. I guess. We don't have anything. So. <laughs> Um, obviously, the Cast Off Rider series is technically the first non Soul Chaka Henshin Rider figure gimmick. Um, before uh, Final Form Ride figures. Uh, so, here's the box we have. Here's the box. As you can see, a clear window that shows the figure. The Cast Off Rider series logo. They actually personalize it. To match the writer, just like the Kamara Gatsack font here, literally being from the Kamara Kabuto font, I really appreciate that. As we got Gatsack writer for writer form, Gatsack's writer form there. Then we get the mask form, then the figure presentations, a CGI model of the cast off figure. Same thing. Uh, the bottom with both modes, the top with, again, both forms. There's only one picture of mask form. No, they're actually slightly different than the back. Oh, sorry. Just, you know, the same stuff we are used to. Obviously, comparing this to the Soul Chaku Henshin box, obviously, it's not as long. It's actually thicker. You know, uh, unlike the Soul Chaga Henshin, you don't have a, a profile, but, you know. Alright, so here we have the contents out. Obviously, we get uh, Gatak himself in rider form. We get the uh, Gatak Zector, and then we get the mask form pieces. So, um, I think we should probably just look at these, like, the pieces later, and just look at the figure itself first. Um, for the most part, uh, this is a pretty, like, tall figure. Uh, as if I just pull out Wing Knight. <laughs> so, you can definitely see... He's like half the size. Obviously, at this point, Soto Chronicle Kabuto isn't released yet. <laughs> um, here is Zerf. So he's like, he's a bit taller. And obviously, I'll do another comparison. But overall, just the detail on Gatak is pretty neat overall. I really like the metallic blue they have all over him and such and just um the black and silver paint is pretty neat overall um the uh why did i forget what these are called the rider cutter no <laughs> but um you know they have these are obviously attached, or they obviously separate, but they do have the yellow trims at least, and they have the Zekt logo. Oh. Here's that yellow trim. And this one doesn't really have, well it has silver. Interestingly, but um, again, like you know, for obviously from here it might not seem like it has it, but then down here we got the old trim, and I really like that. Again, the silver all over the suit is pretty decent. Like overall, like obviously the Zector here isn't painted, but like he's got every paint like application he needs, and. Um, I don't know if you can tell, like, the horns are slightly a uh, lighter color, 
but I think that might be due to age. But it, I think it is probably an accurate thing too. But um, so I'm already doing it. Articulation, the head could go all the way, but it can't because of the collar. And then you can rotate this arm all the way through. And then you can bend the elbow XL, swivel all the way. And then awkwardly, you can rotate the entire forehand or <laughs> forearm. And then the hand is on a ball joint with the entire be able to move the entire hand. There, there's no split. So the arm is pretty well. The legs are kind of limited. You can kick it forward. Why did I say they're limited? <laughs> you can kick it back. But you can't kick to the side as much. And you can swivel. The leg. Like so. And then. The foot is a ball joint. So I think I said that it's like, I meant to say the arms are limited, obviously because of how the gimmick works. You can't obviously move it up, but honestly, I think the swivel helps. There's no waist articulation, obviously, because of the gimmick. And uh, one thing I do want to point out is that the legs are indeed uh, ball joints <laughs> or like a ball and socket. So they're set. So, um, obviously, again, we got the cutters as his main accessories, to which, obviously, when you slot them to the hand, which is actually difficult because of how these hands are made. So let's just do a somewhat attempt. So yeah, here are the cutters in his hands. And yeah, they're puny. <laughs> they're really puny. Uh, <laughs> which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, I get it. <laughs> but you know, just simply put them back in like so into the arms. And let's just do comparison with the Soul Chaka Henshin before we actually show the gimmick. So again here is the cast off rider Gatak and then here is the Soul Chaku Henshin Gatak. Now what I will say is that this one is definitely a lot brighter in color. And obviously a bit like obviously with the uh silver parts it's obviously a lot has some bulk because of obviously it's armor uh, obviously the Zector here is painted and the proportions are obviously the both of them are kind of off with proportions obviously this one had to be thicker this one's a bit thinner but um I think the biggest difference here is obviously the head just because, again, I think especially with this one, because of age, the, if you can't tell, or I think it's just because it's painted, because obviously you have to keep in mind this is die cast. Um, like, you know, the colors here, are they look the similar, or they look similar. Okay. <sighs> so if I, like, were to, like, pull this out, so, like, you know, so they are definitely different pieces. <laughs> Obviously, this one actually has the paint. And, like, you definitely could. You actually can't. <laughs> I think it's just because of the, yeah, okay, so the, the peg is definitely a lot bigger so yeah you can like tell the one in the soul chocolate engine is like a lot lighter in color which I don't think is 
accurate. Because I think this one's more closer. Yeah, so the pegs on this one are a lot bigger. You know, I guess you don't accidentally sw swap them and such. And I apologize if I didn't talk about the helmet. But, like, you can tell the helmets here. Again, this is a lot more tealer than, like, just blue. And before, because <laughs> I keep forgetting about this. Yes, you can take these. If it actually wants to focus, you can take these, cross them into each other to do the rider cutting. <laughs> I I don't know why I keep forgetting about this. I'm not going to bother putting them in his hand because it's really atrocious. So... Let's go on with the gimmick. Alright, so before we get to the mask form pieces, obviously, let's talk about the only other accessory. Which is pretty interesting. Uh, the Gatak Zector itself, which is obviously painted really well. Very basic, but, you know, the, the I like the um, blue paint. Obviously, from down here, it's just... You can tell it's just black plastic. <sighs> um, obviously, the mask form pieces, so the chest... Piece. You know, just like the Gatak figure itself, I really like the metallic blue and the silver. Obviously, all of this is just cast in black plastic, just painted. So, here's the back piece. Obviously, there's a peg you clip into the hole. And then you get the right hand, right arm, I meant. Um, with the cannon, which you can do slight movement on. This is actually pliable, or this piece is actually pliable. So I'm pretty sure this is just kind of, oh, excuse me. Uh, obviously, I should probably state this, uh, Gatak is obviously very similar to the Copto figure, because obviously the Copto figure work the same. So let's put these pieces on Gatak. So what we want to do actually to prep this is that we want to fold down the horns, obviously, to which uh, shows the nice silver paint underneath the Gatak. And well, I'll actually get to that. So basically, personally what I'll do first is just set in the arms. So you actually do obviously want to keep the cutters in because you want to just simply slide this peg into this hole above the shoulder like so and click it in like that. Obviously you're pressing a spring in and such. And then as you can see, obviously the cannons have spaces for the cutters to go in. So you get that, and then I would say take the front piece, put a pull like put this peg into the front hole, or align it like so, and click it in. These the chest piece will actually like give you a click and such, and this one like again this square section just slot it in like so for it to click. So now we have Gatak in mask form. Obviously from here the articulation is severely hindered because now you can no longer uh, twist the head. You can slightly or you can still move the arm but like it's blocked by this and you can somewhat again bend the arm but it's not gonna do much I appreciate they at least allow you to give you the option obviously the Zector isn't accurate which I'm pretty sure is why they gave you this one so you can just pretend that it's obviously not folded in obviously this is the Zector is just a big button but before we cast off let's do another comparison with Soul Chaka Henshin mask form. Obviously, 
I didn't want to bother putting it on this, so I'm just using the dummy stand. Which technically is more accurate within proportions, like, you know, the legs right here and such. But, like, I guess focusing on the upper body, um, obviously, uh, we're missing the hand, but, you know, I guess that's technically the only sacrifice you would take. Um... Other than that, like, you know, I think the, I think this one works a bit better in proportions yet again, just because this one, obviously, even with the, without this being the dummy, like, the proportions on this little chaga henshin are a bit thin, so it doesn't really work with, like, the body armor and such, and obviously this head, or the helmet, is just really, doesn't really, like, stain on there and the blue on this uh one for the soul chakra soul chakra engine is actually more accurate than the gatak so yeah so now for the grand reveal so obviously to cast off what we want to do is simply press the zector on the belt like so and now we've cast off into rider form so obviously to complete the transformation we're going to flip the horn up and there is a tab on the side which you know with a square port like so you don't necessarily press it in it doesn't it doesn't click or anything it just kind of slots in there loosely and yeah <laughs> that's basically it obviously you can pretend you do a put on so like, you know you don't need all the pieces so like again you can just be weird and be like well I only want this back part <laughs> or I don't know cause Kuga Kagami did do a put on, but it wasn't like Tendo's where it was only like the arm. He did like a full on put arm or put on. But like, you know, it's just like, it's just really easy to like, you know, reassemble all this. So obviously, he's back in mask form. There he goes. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that's kind of it for this review like overall i do genuinely like this figure just because this is one i've been wanting ever since like uh 2007 <laughs> so like when i was like six years old just because or like this and the soul chaka henshin figures are like just figures i've been wanting since i was really young just because i really like the i just really like the gimmicks that both of them have Obviously, if I had to say which one is better between the two, um, obviously, I guess if you want an actual articulated figure and actually want, like, die cast, if you want a somewhat actor likeness, I think just mostly if you want an actual efficient articulated figure, go for the Soul Chaga Henshin, but if you want, like, a really dumb, fun figure that you can just sit down and simply put the armor on cast off i definitely recommend this one um these i think the prices for both of these are technically the same uh just because of how they are even though i'll definitely say the soul chaga engine is definitely more worth it at 20 uh, just because you are getting essentially two figures for that price this one is just kind of because of age but, like, other than that, like, if you want to, go for the entire line. Because the entire line is literally like this. I don't know how Kick Hopper and Punch Hopper work. I think the only, I think they're, like, leg parts <laughs> are, like, the only things that are, like, actively moving. But, I just really like this figure overall. <laughs> and such. I... It's just really nice to have it, and it, the gimmick is just fun, because it makes sense. But yeah, uh, I got nothing else to say, because this is a poor review. This is Ryder and I'll leave you people. Bye.